do with the green peppers and onions is to basically just um, sweat them a little bit so that you get a little bit of cooking going on, the onion's going to get a little opaque, and whether you're, for me, whether you're putting mushrooms either on the pizza or in the calzone, um, what I like to do is cook them down just a little bit because they tend to hold a lot of moisture. So you want to cook off some of that moisture so that when you put it on top of the uh, pizza or inside the calzone, that moisture isn't going to make your pizza or calzone soggy. Cook it for about two minutes, that's it. We've made two pizzas. One was a white pizza, one was a standard pizza with pepperoni. Now we're going to sh show you with the same uh, pizza sauce, the same dough, and basically the same ingredients. We're going to show you how to make a calzone. Uh, once again, you want to get some ricotta. That's probably about, oh, I would say a quarter of a cup to three quarters of a cup, or excuse me, a quarter of a cup to about half a cup. You're going to throw in some mozzarella cheese. Again, handful, maybe about a half a cup. I'm going to take our veggie tables here, which was, again, we sweated them. You can see how opaque the onions have become. I'm just going to put half of those in on this one. Throw that in. I'm going to take some of our mushrooms. Again, you see they've cooked down. A little bit of the moisture has come out of them. I'm going to throw those in. Throw in a little bit of salt and pepper. Maybe half a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon, a little bit of salt, a couple of pinches again, that's probably about a quarter. And let's throw in some oregano. Again, about a half, about a quarter to half a teaspoon, and then just mix it all together. And that's going to be our filling. We're not going to put any sauce in this one. We're going to actually put some of the sauce on the side. All right, mix it all up, and we're pretty well good to go. I'm going to take the other piece of uh, dough that we had. I'm going to cut this in half because we don't want a giant calzone. Take that out of the way. Again, it's going to be the same basic concept. You can shave it back into a disc if you want, so you can get that nice round shape. Just tuck it underneath, and we're going to roll it out. Again, we're going to roll it as thin as you want to get it. Keep some flour on there. Once again, we're going to stretch it out. It's kind of small to do it the other way, so we'll just keep pulling it so it makes a nice little disc for you. You can make them as big or as small as you want. All right, and what we want to do is take the stuffing that we have and we're going to put it only on half because we're going to fold this thing over in a minute. Alright, again, you can put as much or as little as you want. Then you want to stretch it. And you want to seal the edges. Just press it down with your fingers. And we're going to take a knife. We want to cut two little slits in it because we don't want this thing to burst on us. And you can leave it like this. You can do an egg wash if you want it to have a little bit of a sheen to it. But that's pretty much it. We're going to do the same basic thing. We're going to take some cornmeal. Once again, we're going to pop that back on. I'm going to slide that back on here. Once again, we want to make sure that it moves. Back to the oven, onto the board. And we're going to sit, sit it again for about 10 minutes. All right, here's our kettle zone. We'll try not to drop it, actually. And put that on the side with a little bit of the sauce that we had earlier. And we're, we're good to go.